Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to my 31 days of horror in October. Today, I have a Halloween-based horror movie review for you. And that is of... Boo. Now, Boo is a 2005 film, which runs approximately 94 minutes, and is written and directed by Anthony C. Perante. Now, the stars... Trish Corrin as Jesse Holden, Rachel Harlan as Cindy, and Jillian Vanover as Kevin. <clears throat> now, uh, Anthony C. Ferrante sounded really familiar to me, so I looked it up, and of course, he is the one that did all of the Sharknado films. It's like, cool, that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. Now, <clears throat> I had gotten this movie. <clears throat> when a video store, actually the very last video store around here, went out of business. They were called Village Video. <laughs> I remember walking out with a couple bags of movies from there. And also being kind of happy and sad at the same time. Because, you know, this was like the last, the final stand of movies. Like a movie rental store. And because I got some really good uh, deals and films there, <laughs> but um, I took it home. I was really excited for it. I'd never seen it. This was, of course, a few years ago, and as I was watching it, I fell asleep. Like, okay, maybe I was just tired. So, like, maybe a month later, I decided to give it another try, and I started watching it again, and I fell asleep. So I wasn't really sure if I was going to do this one for 31 Days of Horror, but I wanted to give it another try. Maybe I was just tired. I actually enjoyed this film, so I must have been tired. I mean, after all, I am old. So Boo is about five kids who go to an, a haunted asylum and one kid gets there early to kind of set things up to scare the girls. Because it's two guys, two girls, and the one guy who's there beforehand. So right away, it kind of seems like a, like Hell Night, where they went to Garth Manor and set things up to scare everyone, not knowing that there was really something to be afraid of. So, as I said, four people going into this haunted asylum. Now, right next to that haunted, haunted asylum is a, like a, um, a place where you, like a funeral home. And there is another story going on at the same time. And this one I thought was kind of cool. Because it's about a cop who was an actor, and he played in movies like Blackula, they were like uh, black exploitation films, uh, martial arts films, like uh, Fred Williamson, and I thought that was kind of cool. So he has a friend, being a cop, whose sister went missing, and he thinks she's at this uh, funeral home, which actually does link into the Asylum, somehow. So you have these two different stories going on at one time, and they kind of merge in the middle. And they all have to try to get out of this asylum. And it's one of those movies where um, reality kind of shifts. And no matter where you go, you end up on the third floor. Because that's where the all the hauntings are. And they don't want you to leave. So, this is actually a pretty fun movie. Some of the effects are a little dated. Some of the acting is not the best. But it's a horror movie. So, of course, the acting I give a pass to. There's a ton of blood in this movie. And overall, it's just a fun watch. Nothing setting the world on fire. But it is a just a fun movie. Definitely check this one out, 
And don't forget to check out everyone else doing the 31 days. And remember, guys, physical media matters. And until next time, peace.